Okay, so in this last video of our data streaming series, we're going to visualize the um, Bitcoin price data in Power BI. So you'll need to sign into powerbi.com. Um, and if you if everything has gone okay in your My Workspace, um, the Bitcoin data set that we authorized earlier in the Azure portal should now appear. So you can click on that just to have a quick look at see, you know, the data. Um, so I can see that, that our Bitcoin price data is coming through. Um, we'll just get rid of that. Um, so what we want to do, if we go back to our workspace, we want to create a new dashboard. So I'll call this my dash. And then click on add tile. And you can see there's the real time data, custom streaming data um, option. So we'll click on that and select next. We'll select our Bitcoin data set. And we've got a couple of different visualizations types. So the, the first one we'll create is just a card. We'll add the price value. Could change the granularity. And if you keep an eye on the number, you should see that every 10 seconds that should be changing on its own. Uh, give it a title. And while we wait for that one to come through, so it's just changed again, we'll create our second tile, which is now a line chart. Uh, we'll select the same data set, change it to line. We'll set the value to the price, the axis to the event uh, date, and the time window will, will be a rolling 10 minutes. Um, so this will be a Bitcoin price trend. Now, I think they're supposed to be coming through in, in terms of this uh, summary view, but uh, for some reason it hasn't been working for me. But if we do um, drill down into focus mode, we can see the visualization. And if we wait another five to 10 seconds, you should see um, the data or the visualization animate and add the new data point. So it's just been uh, trending down all day since I've been doing this exercise. So. Um, yeah, so as you can see, every, every time we get a new data point, um, the visualization auto updates by itself. And that's it. And that's how we uh, stream Bitcoin price data from um, an API, the Azure function, using Event Hub um, to pull the events from our, um, or con liaise the events from our producer, being the Azure function, to our consumer, being the stream analytics job. Uh, and then Finally, we have visual, a Power BI um, visualizing that data in real time. That's it.